Hello everyone. What's up? Welcome to Codesploit's YouTube tutorials. In this series of tutorials, we will be mastering the art of penetration testing and we will also be covering up the 5 stages of hacking. That's reconnaissance, exploitation, post-exploitation, maintaining access and finally covering up any tracks which we may have left. So in this tutorial, we will not get into exploitation directly. Before getting into exploitation or some other thing like that, we'll need to set up our test and audit environment. So today in this video, I'll show you how to set up Metasploit Go2 in VirtualBox. So first of all, you're gonna open up a browser. It's as simple as that. You can refer to the link given in the description or you can better uh, do a Google search as I am doing. Download Metasploit Go2. Once you the Google page opens up, you can navigate to the first website. Click on the first website and it will open up the SourceForge or website. This link will be in the description. You can directly click that and you can obtain the link. So everything will be fine. And I have already downloaded it and I will tell you what next you are gonna do. So navigate to the directory where it is. It is here, you can see. Just extract the files here. And once it is extracting itself, I'll show you what next to do. But before that, let me tell you some of the important things. So what is Metasploitable? Metasploitable is an intentionally vulnerable virtual machine made for one and only purpose of security penetration testing and auditing which is suited for your home environment. Remember, do not expose this virtual machine on an untrusted public network. Remember this. And it is an operating system, it runs in Linux and it basically has all the vulnerabilities within it which we will be exploiting in our future tutorials and which you may find in other public servers. You can do that but that will be illegal, I would not recommend that. Uh, but we will show you how to do everything. So after it has got extracted, open a virtual box. Uh, click on new. Type in meta sprite table two. You can keep it to any name, but I'll prefer to meta sprite two. Type you select it to Linux and keep it to Ubuntu 64 bit if you like it, but it hasn't got any specifications either. So I'll keep it to other than 64 bit and the recommend is 512 MB, you can keep it to that only, there's no need. And here's the main part, you're gonna select this as a hard disk file and browse to the navig directory where you have it, I'll have it in the local disk. Go to the folder which you extracted and here is the file. So click on create, it will auto detect it's everything and everything is fine, click on settings. So you're gonna go to system, uncheck this floppy, change the boot order, click on OK, everything has been set. So let's start up, start up our VM and everything should be fine. Now once the VM gets started, you will see how everything works, it will start up all the dependencies and everything. Also, one thing, you have only one terminal to interact with the system. Only one terminal, so you understand the necessity of mastering the command line interface. For this, I will show you how to set up everything in here only, but you're gonna just relax and sit back. Let it set up the dependencies and start up the services. I guess it will just bump into the Login panel, there it is. You can see Metas Portable login panel. Type in MSF ATMIN. MSF admin as the username. MSF ATMIN. MSF admin as the password to. And once you are logged in, um, you have this terminal to interact with. You, can, you have this terminal to interact with the system and the virtual machine, so everything is fine. So let me zoom in and I will and I will tell you what more you have to do with this. Have logged in. 
you need to log in as root for changing some of the things. The command for it is sudo su. Press enter and it will ask for the password msfadmin. msfadmin is the password and you logged in as root. So now we have to set up and change our repository sources of list. Sources of list is a file you know, where um, the uh, from where the links are given for updating our distro. So we will change to the directory it's located as, uh, at etc apt etc apt cd is the command for changing directory change directory so fine we will press an enter and you can see the cd apt and you can just do a list list is ls you can view the files with the permissions you need the l switch lsl you can see uh, sources.list file the third one so first of all we are going to take up a backup of uh, our sources.list file so what we're going to do copy sources.list to sources.list.backup fine uh, cp is the command for copying and so press an enter and type in lsl and you can see sources.list backup on the fifth line sources.list on the third line so everything is fine over here so let's go ahead and see what our repositories look like i forgot to mention the sources.list file my bad sources.list fine there you go you can see the files over here you can see the hell lot of um, the repositories over here so what we're gonna do uh, we are going to change our repositories to the old patches repositories so we are going to type we are going to get a file from our website which is done by the wget command type in wget oh uh, i guess i put uh, wrong it's because it should be http there you go there it got downloaded it and fine i will just list the files and you can see a dev.txt file there so mm, what we'll do i'll just view what is in there cat dev.txt you can see three repositories over there and so we will just comment out other lines and we'll go forward to the next type in sed sed with the i switch and along with that a single quote s forward slash dot a star a forward slash a hash with that which will hash out everything it will comment out everything and the command g this two etc at sources dialect file so once we are done i will press an enter so everything is done now let's see grab v that uh, that o command which we are, which we use over there source oh sorry my bad is sources dot list and there wc l you can see there's nothing in there so everything is fine now let's tail out tail 5 and along with that sources name of the file dot list Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. There you go, you can see everything is hashed out, means everything is commented out. And finally, let's join everything together. So, we'll go for ls l sources.list file is there. 
and ls l sources uh, no not sources of list i'm sorry that's the txt dev dot txt there is there now we will cat one together concatenate cat dev dot txt to sources dot list file Press and enter and everything will be fine. Now let's see tail the last five lines and then sources dot list file. And you can see our repository last three repositories have gone together and finally now you can do a app to get update and it will just connect to itself and it will just release itself off and you can see you will get the headers and everything and next what we will do we will just set up the headers together and finally we will set everything up and in the next tutorial we will be on exploiting metasploitable so you have seen everything is done and now next and the final thing we will install the linux headers so linux headers we will just type in apt get install linux headers linux headers we will install the server one 2.6 i guess 2.6.24 uh, 1.6 and yes server and to oh i'm sorry i guess Linux. Yes, this is the headers. Fine. Just install the Linux packages. And it will download everything here. It will set up everything and it will read the databases and everything will be fine. It's not anything special about it. It will just unpack the Linux headers and everything is fine. So we have set everything up and metasploitable 2 is ready and fine we will, it's running and you can just the security testings will help you guide everything and how it is so goodbye for today have a safe cat and follow us in tutorials thank you good luck and a goodbye